Welcome friends again to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your love in helping us grow. One question many people are asking me is what is this 4K resolution? Is it worth investing? Are crisp, stunning 4K visuals really worth the extra cost compared to full HD? Let's unpack it. Starting with pixel power, 4K delivers a whopping four times the pixels of 1080p, 3142, 160 versus 1120, 1080, so images are significantly sharper, especially noticeable when sitting close or watching on larger 50E plus screens. Next to understand about the vibrant colors in HDR, many 4K TVs support HDR and richer color depths. Think of brighter highlights and more lifelike shadows. It's not just about resolution, it's about depth and realism. When it matters, on smaller screens under 40 or from a distance, 1080p may suffice, but bump up to 50 and beyond, and the extra detail in 4K becomes unmistakable. Most important to know if there are any hidden costs, 4K requires more. Internet speed, 2550 Mbps plus for streaming, a more powerful TV or console for gaming, storage space that's 3-4x larger for files. What about the price tag? Expect to pay roughly 25-50% more for an HD to 4K upgrade. Netflix, for example, can cost more month for Ultra HD streaming. And how about TV's cost? Well, it can vary widely. Budget 4K's TVs are now there in the market, while premium sets exceed a lot higher. So, my final take. 4K TVs does cost more, but for the immersive clarity, color, and future-ready performance, many feel the investment pays off. Just be sure your setup, screen size, internet speed, viewing habits, will let you actually enjoy it. Lastly, content availability. Native 4K content is booming. Most new shows, games, and streams are in 4K. Still, HD content remains common and often looks excellent due to smart upscaling. So, is 4K worth it? Yes, absolutely. If you have a bigger screen like 50E plus screen, sit close, game with a next-gen console, or want ultra-real visuals now. Stick to 1080p. If you're budget conscious, watch content casually on smaller screens, or don't have the bandwidth hardware to support 4K. Hope it was helpful and you have better clarity now to make an informed decision. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel Yashvara Lifestyle for more such informative videos. Till then, take some good care of yourself.